50-foot waves are now expected on the coast starting tomorrow as king tides roll in. Now meteorologists are warning to be on the lookout for flooding if you are heading to the coast. Fox 26 reporter Sophia Lesio spoke with the National Weather Service who says that even if the ocean looks calm, it can be very deceptive and dangerous. Sophia? Yeah, that's right, Liz and Monty. The National Weather Service tells me even though flooding won't be as bad as New Year's weekend, it's best to still be vigilant during these high tides. Rogue waves may be returning along the California coast. These higher tides can bring run up further along the beaches that can catch people off guard. Over New Year's Eve weekend, a woman from Georgia was killed while visiting Pismo Beach with her family. The San Luis Obispo County Sheriff's Office says she and her two children were knocked down when a massive wave came up while they were taking pictures. Family members rescued the two children but could not save the mother. 16-foot waves were seen along the California coast because of king tides. Are we expecting it to be as bad as it was last time? We're not expecting the tides to be as bad as they were what we saw uh, around December 28th, December 30th timeframe. Um, and that's because we're not seeing as strong of a swell coming in. So Even though Sarah McCorkle, a meteorologist from the National Weather Service, says waves aren't expected to be as massive. Oh Still, be cautious. We get a lot of tide coolers um, during low tide. Um, so tide coolers should also be careful for you know waves that may sneak up. NWS is expecting coastal flooding to impact roadways, underpasses, beach trails, and sidewalks. Even though the ocean may look inviting, sometimes that can be a trick. Well, the ocean can still look calm, but the tides will still come in and out. Yeah, we can still expect the anomalous tides, even if the, the waves in the ocean looks fairly calm. So those hazards are still definitely there. The National Weather Service tells me they do expect king tides to start rolling in tomorrow morning, peaking Thursday, and then continuing through Friday. If you do plan on going to the ocean in the next few days, McCorkle, McCorkle tells me it is always good to watch the water a few minutes before actually going in. Liz and Monty. All right, thanks so much, Sophia. And it's also important, by the way, to never turn your back on the ocean. We saw, again, that deadly mistake that one family made while taking photos not too long ago. NWS is expecting high tide for king tides to be around 8 tomorrow morning. Chief Meteorologist Chris Kuiper joins us now with a little more on what exactly is a king tide and a look ahead to a wet finish to our Wednesday. Chris? Yeah, let's talk a little bit more about the tides and the king tides in particular. And What's really causing them is the fact that the, uh, the moon's or our orbit around the Earth is not a perfect circle. It's a bit of an ellipse. In this example here, we've got the, the Earth spinning, and we've got the moon going pretty much in a perfect circle. Oh, get out of the way there. Uh, if I've got this thing going right. But in reality, uh, it's not a, a perfect circle. So at times, the moon is a little closer to the Earth, and at times, the moon is a little further from the Earth. And the same thing with the Earth around the sun. At times, the, sun, the Earth is a little closer to the sun, and at times, the Earth is a little further away because of the uh, orbit is kind of a big, long, oval kind of sort of. And even though it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, it doesn't stand a reason, we are actually very close. We're close to our closest approach to the sun right now. It's called perihelion in uh, meteorology, and that actually was back on January 2nd uh, when we had some big tides out there. Now, as far as what we have coming our way in time at the tide, 8 o'clock in the morning is when the first one will be on Wednesday, 9 o'clock on Thursday, and then about 9.30 in the morning on Friday. And again, when you have the Earth as close as it's going to get to the sun, and you also have a new moon or a full moon, uh, that's when you really get those tides really peaking at their most. And our next new moon is going to be Thursday uh, on the 11th.